Good morning. So, we are still working on Snippet Pixie next, and we're working on the CLI. Uh, we are improving the uh, list command in the CLI. Got a little to do at the moment, um, and I basically need to change. Um, I've already done this, uh, so it, it shows the abbreviation and body by default, um, and then I need the field parameters and delimiter. I didn't mention the delimiter here, do I? Yeah. Um, so what have we got? We have at the moment, let's just do a make, make sure it's up and running. If I do snippet pixie list and then just do a search term of wibble um, it shows these um, and at the moment um, if I do something like delimiter I don't know if quotes will do it pipe yeah there you go uh, we have a way of doing that but we want to be able to also change the way whether we have whether we show the ID or just um, just the body or add in the last used day and stuff like that. And that's what we're working on at the moment. Um, so let's just clear that so it'll be easier to see. Um, and we've got to the point where I've added um, the config for ID, abbreviation, body, and last used. So these are new fields here. Um, I renamed the recent, uh, sorry, renamed last used to recent so that we can sort them. So if I do, let's do a slightly easier version of that one. And then if I do minus R, it does it slightly different order because the last time the last one to be used was wibble wobble um so that comes first and then the other two haven't been used at all yet but we don't know that because we can't see the field because i've taken that out so let's make sure we can see the field so we've got delimiter id abbreviation body and last used um if i look at the help for that hopefully they all show up now oops Still. Oh, yeah, it's good. I hadn't, I hadn't tested that yet. So <laughs> it's good to do that occasionally. Um, yeah, so abbreviation, include abbreviation field on by default if no field specified. Include body field, same again on by default. Then we have a delimiter, ID last used and then recent which is the order by most recently used sorry about the sound of the horse in the background um and then search which we've been using quite a lot right now we've got the uh, config in here so it actually will come up and actually produce an args um array well it's a map um which includes all these fields, yes or no. And what we need to do is use them. But let's do a config test first. So we've added those things, but we haven't actually tested them yet. We've got the recent up here, um, and we've got search, delimiter, and now we need to do the individual fields. So we need to kind of like steal some things. Um, we need a boolean flag so recent would be good for that uh, we have these four here yeah they probably would hmm it's actually that oh we've got search well, if I do, let me think, long form, short form. And then mix it in with a search pram. Hmm. 
Yeah, just to make sure that the positionals still work. So we'll do that. So we will change this. Let's do them one by one. So we'll do ID here, which and that's our I. ID and I and then in the fields so we need to change it so we have ID true 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 and true but abbreviation All the others false body false last used false body false abbreviation false that should be ID for that yeah and then again true false body false false all right so for all of those everything all the ids so everything bar id is false on the fields okay that's what we're expecting this is data driven data uh testing so this is basically just a big um array um slice um of structures. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think that tests ID. Okay, so let's make sure that works. Ah, okay. Right, so we got. Hmm. It's always difficult when it's data driven as to know whether you, what where the problem is unless you put in some sort of description on each line and I haven't done that but we'll see. Um, so abbreviation false body false delimiter empty ID true last used false recent false search empty and we got. I oh, know, and we expected abbreviation false, body false, delimiter empty, ID true, last used false, recent true, and search. empty so we expected recent true on something and didn't get it so i must have missed a thing there oh yeah yeah, yeah okay that's right because i was because <laughs> i changed recent that was the ones i copied off so yeah i need to update them to false at the moment so i got to do that Okay. Uh, so, and if I if I just change this one here, so that um, if I put this to false, it should now fail again because it will get abbreviation. No, because we are actually passing an ID, but we get false. We're expecting false. Yeah. So we got ID true, but we expected ID false. Oh, you can't see that. Possibly. Might be behind my head. Yeah, that's not there. Uh, so. That's 
good. It's doing what we expect. It's testing what we expect. Put that back. Take that to do out. And then we're just going to go grab those four. Put it again. And then let's see. We could we'll just do it by hand. So we're doing abbreviation now. And if I go to the end here. Hold on, am I on the right line? Yeah. All right. We are going to change that, 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 and that to false. And then we're going to change that one, that one, oh, that one, that one, and that one. So abbreviation, 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 change that to true. Test plus. Okay. Okay, now we have another set of abbreviation. I'm going to change that to body. It's all a little bit boring and mechanical, but it has to be done to make sure that we're not missing anything or we don't break anything in the future, which is more to the point. So we have one, two, three, four. Switch them to false. And then oh, missed it. Body, 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 body. True. It's a bit noisy out there today. Okay, should we risk it? Let's um let's set up another one for last used. Uh yeah last dash used. So that's what we put in. But the parameter internally is a camel case. Kebab to camel. Yeah, very good. And we we'll change that to true. All right. And run the tests. We pass. Let's do uh, verbose. So it's doing config. That's fine. Let's just quickly double check the package. 
don't think I've made any changes there. That's okay. Right. Um, so that's all very well, but I'm going to make. Um, and then I'll just clear that. And I'll bump up there. There. Right. Uh, if I run simply pixie a list, um, let's just do just body. I'm looking for a wibble or something. You still get both because we haven't actually implemented, taken that parameter, the body, and actually passing it through to the function that does the thing. So back in the main for the CLI, because I haven't really reconfigured this yet. Um, we've got this get snippets internal command, which is what we're doing for the list. Um, at the moment, it goes off and says, get me all the snippets um, using this search term as passed into the config um, and order them by recent yes or no uh, we now need to change the output format to match that at the moment it's doing a format to string and it's doing id false body true abbrevi uh, abbreviation and body true and then last used false we need to put these arguments that we're going to get in there instead so we basically need a boolean like that so let's grab that and then here we're gonna have it we're gonna have one there one there one there and there but they need to have this is the id field this is the abbreviation This is the body, and this is last used. And that formatted string takes those parameters, ID, abbreviation, body, last used, and delimiter, and it spits out a formatted string for the snippet. So save that make run that same command again so snippet pixie list just show me the body uh, for the search term wibble and that's what we get smart okay so let's muck about that so if we have id there we go uuids just um abbreviation just last used, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can now see uh, what I had before. So if I now do um, abbreviation, and I want it ordered by recent, Ripple Wobble was used first. So I should be able to do something like. Oh, you can't see that one, does it? We probably can see it. So if I do that again. Oops. Pipe it through head. Minus one. There's the most recent. Uh, cool. Um, and then, of course, being CLI, you could then also just do a cut uh, minus F1, I think, because it's spaced by default. No, you have to do the delimiter minus V space, something like that. There we go. Um, although, in this case, because 
because I don't have to show the last used fields, I can do it like that. There you go. Same thing without doing the cut. Cool. All right. So that is the change list format done, I think. I think I've done all my to-dos for that. Um, I've got a bunch of others. What are they? Internal manager. Oh, yeah, for these. All right. Translation things. And snippet potentially do an update thing. That's fine. There are worlds. I'm not sure I'm ever going to get to them, but we'll keep them in for the moment. Okay. Uh, right. So let's um, do a full on test and make. So we'll do a make clean all. And we'll do a make. So make sure everything's up to date. I'll, um, I'll bounce the uh, daemon in a minute because that's obviously been rebuilt. Let's do the GUI. Okay, everything passed there. We'll do a make test on everything. Done. Smart. Okay, um, so I'm just going to go back into the command there and then up here. Um, just bring that down a bit. Right, so the daemon has been rebuilt there. So we'll just bring that up again. Make sure it's good. And then so that works. Just show the body. That's fine. Um, if I, what else have I got? Oh yeah, delimiter. Let's just make sure everything's still okay on the help. Delimiter, yeah, reason search we could do as well. So on the delimiter, so let's do body, and then I want to throw in a delimiter. I'll make sure it doesn't chuck it on the end. So delimiter, oops, I'll just do it minus D, it's quicker. <laughs> um, comma, so we don't see any commas there, he says. Oh no, that's fine, yeah. Um, and then if I do add in a field, such as, oh, well, that's what I wanted to do. Order of those fields does not matter. They always come out in the same order. 
of ID abbreviation body last used. We're not we're not going to start mucking about with order. You can do that yourself. Um, so yeah, there you go, and it's comma delimited there, which is fine. It's not going to get fancy. It's not going to do quoting. Um, it's just the basics. That's a problem for spreadsheets, not for the not for the command line. You can sort that out yourself. So I think we are good. We can save that off and say we have implemented that. So oops. Uh, I keep losing focus on here because I keep doing silly things like escape and stuff. Um when you're so used to using Vim keys. <laughs> right. Um so what have we done? Uh, we have um, so this change will update list command uh, to enable specify in fields and delimiter implements that to do. Okay, so and push it. Smart. So uh, if I refresh this now, presumably it is resolved. Oh, it's already cut. It's already said it is. That's Oh, no, it's not. There you go. It has now been implemented. Another one bites the dust. Um, and it will be off in building now. And CI in uh, Nixos and Ubuntu. Which is good. I'll let that run in the background. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what am I going to do next time? I think... Probably finish off CLI stuff by, well, current CLI stuff, by improving the error messages. At the moment, we have things like um, unique constraint failed when I try and add um, a duplicate, whereas we really, we should be doing things like that abbreviation already exists. So basically nicer error messages. We need to catch common things um, and or do things in a slightly different way. Um, so that maybe we get back um, maybe codes or something. I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. But either way, that is not a good user experience. Um, so I need to change that. But we'll do that some other day. Um, I might as well finish up now. That was a good place to finish. Uh, so uh, thanks. thanks for watching. Um, and until next time, take care. Bye.